In this tutorial I'm going to make a drill bit and I got this pattern that I traced out in the gray here. This is the bird's eye view of the drill bit. Alright with that said we're going to go ahead and hide that. We're going to the top view here and here's what I traced. I had flipped this around so it might look a little different. I got two files that you can try and one, this one here does have equal spacing and I got some that's got points a little bit closer for sharper edges. All right, we want to keep in mind this area here and this area over here, these are the uh, cutting edges at the top of the bit. And what these do is they need to be rotated in a certain way, and we'll get to that here in a second. And as you noticed here, with this uh, trace here, it's positioned at 0, 0, 0, and it's got 48 points. We have this circle here, it's positioned 0, 0, 0, 48 points. You might want to keep these settings because later down the road here when I get going here you might run into some problems but if you have these settings you should be all right. So we're going to go ahead and uh, go into the front view here and I like to use this back grid pattern as a reference quite a bit. So I'm going to drag it up to the second line here by holding the control key and when I get close I'm going to let go. If I look over in the Y value, it's pretty close to 10, and I'm going to type 10 in here because I'm going to remember the value here in a second when I get down the line here. So press 10 in here, and we're going to go ahead and uh, stop right there. Remember, 10 the value here that I brought this up. All right, we're going to go to the vertex modeling, and we're going to use the slice tool, and we're going to hold the shift key so we can get halfway to cut it exactly in half and validate it. All right, now we need to twist this uh, this bit here so we'll select the edge and loop it and we need to twist it in the direction these points are going to be covering in a piece of metal which would be going this way not this way and if you notice if I twist too much there's a couple things that happen one the bottom half it kind of gets a little too distorted and the top half keeps its shape control Z that and what I want to do is I want to rotate this in 45 degrees. So rotation at 45, press enter. And remember, the top half stays the same, but the bottom twists. So since the top didn't twist, we're going to go ahead and delete that. And we're going to use this piece down here. Remember, this is the piece that we brought up at 10 units. I believe they call it units. I'm not for sure. But anyway... What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into the uh, selected object mode and we're going to go to the utilities and multiple copies. Alright. The offset, we don't want no offset. We'll zero that out. And remember this 10 units up here? Well, all I need to do is do half of that. So we'll put 5 here and I'll bring 5 up. Alright. And I also need to do the rotation on this so they all line up and we'll do the rotation at 45 degrees press enter and we're gonna go ahead and add some copies here so simple as that and validate that and I'm just gonna go delete this one here for right now all right if everything's done right and you go to vertex modeling and you choose weld and press weld all Hopefully everything got welded. You need to test this by subdividing it. So we'll subdivide it. And take a look around it. Let's make sure it's alright. If not, you may, might need to average weld it or you did something wrong. Now I'm not going to collapse the DG. I'm going to move this uh, history back here. So I'm bring this back. Go to front view. And we're going to bring this up 5 units. Back up into the second line here. So... We got 47 plus 5 would be 52. That'd be 5250. And we're going to go ahead and activate that circle. Hold the control key and bring this up approximately 5 units. Don't have to be precise, but if you want to, go ahead. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and select both these objects. Select the edges and loop them, and I'm going to bridge these two edges together. I got my uh, 
bridge tool over here in my custom palette and you need to be careful because sometimes when you bridge this you also twist some of the faces down here so you need to just kind of eyeball this where it kind of flows in something like this or we'll just try negative 45 on this see what that looks like As you can see, it starts flowing down this line here, so it looks like it's easing in and easing out, so they don't look too bad. Alright, I'm not going to do the top here right now, so that's something you can tinker with later. So, we'll select the edge here, and loop it, hold the control key down. And I'll hold the control key down one more time. So I'll have that second edge there. Go to vertex modeling and we're going to go ahead and close all. Select the edge here. Loop it. And we're going to give it a little bit of bevel here. And we're going to go to triangular tessellate. Now when I subdivide it, it's going to get a lot of ribs here, so what I want to do is tighten that up. We're going to loop this, and we're going to bring this all the way in, so it ain't so noticeable to the eye. So now when I subdivide it, then it's kind of smooth. Let's just bring this down just a little bit. Let's give a little bit of bevel to it. Not too bad. Something you can mess with. And also on this line right here, that where the uh, where it eases in, then it comes to the round part. You can do some tweaking here through these edges if you want to, and move them around or whatever you want to do. Well, we're not going to do that right now, so I'll just skip that part. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to scale this in here a little bit kind of size a little bit of a drill bit and kind of scale it up and give it some subdivision take another look at that I'm kind of not happy with the bottom it needs to come up a little bit so we'll activate transparency And take another look at that. And we can change the materials. So uh, before I change the color on her, let's go ahead and change this light map. And it's starting to look a little bit more like a drill bit. Let's give it a dark gray. Let's move some of this in the background here. And that looks pretty good there. Let's twist this around so you can see it's spinning. Let's go the way it's supposed to be spinning. And let's, let's give a little copper look to it. So we'll select here. I think that's going to be alright. And there we have a little copper bit. And thank you very much.